Meanwhile, there's some disturbing new information from the Centers for Disease Control about the growing number of children across the country who are becoming infected with coronavirus. They report more than 97,000 children in the U.S. testing positive just in the last two weeks of July. But here in the Coastal Bend, there is some comforting news as many Coastal Bend families prepare to send their kids back to the classroom later this year. I Rudy Trevino reports. According to a new report published by the American Academy of Pediatrics and the Children's Hospital Association, researchers found a 40% increase in child coronavirus cases in the states and cities that were studied during those two weeks. In fact, last week, 3 News reported the number of cases of children under the age of 24 months had doubled since March to more than 160 cases in Nueces County. Tomorrow, the City County Health District will be releasing additional numbers involving young people. I'm expecting that my number for COVID cases from 18 years and younger is going to be, you know, six, seven, eight hundred numbers. Uh, and so we're going to look at that and then we'll report that out tomorrow at City Council. Numbers, Annette Rodriguez says, point to more cases among young people. While those statistics are scary, local infectious disease specialist Dr. Jaime Fergie says it's all relative. It, it is to be expected that uh, as we're testing many, many more people, uh, we are finding some more positive. But what it really interests me is, well, how many children are really getting sick with this? For a perspective on what he means, Dr. Fergie says one need look no further than the number of cases at Driscoll Children's Hospital. You know, we actually have very few patients. In general, actually, this COVID thing have produced a decreasing number of hospitalization in general for us. So we are not seeing, and I think this is a critical important thing for the community, we're not seeing, you know, a large number of children coming to the hospital sick with COVID. We're not. That is not happening. When it comes to going back to school, Dr. Fergie agrees with the Academy of Pediatrics and the CDC that schools can open safely if everyone follows the established safety guidelines. The silver lining on this the measures that we take to prevent COVID-19 will prevent also the transmission of influenza. Rudy Trevino, 3 News.